All right. So Cosmo's male feminist man of the year is opening his mouth again about what men are not doing right. I think as men, we, we tend to resist engaging in the questions in sort of a deeper way, right? So please tell us, Matt McGorry, oh hail Matt McGorry, what it is. So we're, we're, we're approaching this from a point of view where we're going through our own personal experience, which is not remotely close to what women are going through, right? All right, Matt, I guess I'm gonna have to pull up an archive. So, in 2014, Slate reported an article that um, the National Crime Victim Survey turned up a remarkable statistic, okay? And in that article, not only did it talk about that men are raped almost as often as women, but that 40%, uh, excuse me, 46% um, of male victims reported a female perpetrator. So the only way we can really bridge that gap, and, and I'll speak to the fact that it was only three years ago for me personally that I began to ask these questions of myself and to consider this other perspective. So unless we can really close the gap by actually taking a proactive role and sort of educating ourselves about, about what it's like to be a woman and like... When it happens to dudes. So here's the thing, Matt. Rapists are not gendered and sexual assault does not discriminate, all right? So to actually stop the violence, it does not happen through dismissing the violence that is happening to another gender. Because if we do not work on all of it, everyone will not buy into it that we are trying to stop the problem. And the problem is sexual assault and rape and not men, which you so eloquently keep on speaking of. What it's how to how to how to be a man other than just watching these stories thinking that's terrible and saying, well, I'm glad I didn't do that. You know, we have to actively be a part of the solution. And unless we actively take a role in, in doing that by putting ourselves sort of through the process of re-education, you know, we're going to have a hard times having those questions. What about this one? We might assume that if a man has an erection, he must want sex. But imagine if the same were said about women. Would it still be the same? What do you think about that one, Matt? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you just can't do it. You like putting women on a pedestal, obviously. But I'll leave you to think about this. All right. Sometimes, as a guy, if you want to fit in, you have to hide your pain, and humor is a great way of doing that, and... That's why I sincerely think that rape is hilarious. Because I have to.